Do you know how much I love you? No. More than all the sand and all the beaches and all the world. Describe her to me again. What was she like? She had long hair, a beautiful smile. She wore a pretty blue dress that shined in the sun. What about this? She loved it and wore it every day, just like you. Was she pretty? Very pretty, the prettiest. Did she love us? Always. I am not going to tell you both again, all right? I put you in here, and I want no talking. And I don't want you to think about leaving this fucking closet. Do I make myself crystal clear? Yes, Daddy. And don't make me come back one more time, because if I do, I swear to God, I'll grab that necklace from around your fucking neck so fast. Now cover your ears, both of yous. That was your mommy's. Come on. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. God bless Mommy, God bless Daddy, God bless us. What are you doing, silly? You have a better chance of going to heaven than I do. I wish you would take me with you. Unbelievable. Kids, you had kids in here? You son of a bitch. What are you talking about? You're so disgusting. Rosemary, wait, don't! Here you go! What did I tell you to? Hey? slept on the couch again. Is your bed not comfortable? My bed was shaking. Shaking? Maybe we had another tremor. I have an idea. Why don't you come to church with me today? Uh, I have so much I need to get done before school tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm gonna try again next week. I'll see you when I get home. 
Please eat something, okay? Hello? Antonio, are you here? Hello? The Lord says, if your sins be as scarlet, let them be made white as snow. And if they be red as crimson, they shall be made white as wool. So it is important to both forgive and allow forgiveness in order to receive God's true blessings. So remember that next time someone swoops in and steals your front row parking spot at the grocery store. <laughs> Just like Mrs. Johnson forgave me last night when I accidentally swooped in and stole her spot. <laughs> My bad, Mrs. Johnson. And speaking of blessings, I'm truly blessed to be welcomed into this church community with such loving and open arms. You've really made this transition this past two months an easy one. And I'm especially blessed to receive the spiritual guidance and leadership of Reverend Michael. Seems like we had a good turnout today. Yes, we did. I thought you did very well. I just needed to put together some readings for the next youth meeting. I see you found a title from my personal collection. Oh, um, yes, sorry, it just caught my eye. No, that's okay. Could you put it back, please? Absolutely. I didn't know that you were into demonology and exorcism. I was. Well, I find it fascinating. Some books are best left on the shelf. Of course. All right, well, I'm off. See you later. Good serving.
Ashley? Hello? Hey. You don't remember me, do you? It's Hannah. <laughs> it's amazing. You look exactly the same, except older and taller. Do I look the same? You're taller. Where did you guys end up going? We kind of just disappeared. It's messed up how we didn't even get to say goodbye. Yeah, we went up north. That's a cute necklace. Where did you get it? It's so vintage. Thanks, it was my mom's. It's cool. How's your sister? Where is she at nowadays? She's good. She got a scholarship to Penn State. What brought you guys back? Jesus, once I escape, I'm never coming back. Do you remember the last time you were here? It's a long time ago. Nothing much has changed, so. Yeah. Won't be any different. So what do you do around here? Gosh. Um, we go to the lake. We, you know. Yeah. Go to the movies. That's fun. There's a couple cute boys at school. This is it? Your room's a little crazy, friend. What is all this stuff? Oh, this is my gear. The Mormons might be kind of weird, but they're onto something. On the what? Angels and demons walking the earth. I know, it sounds crazy, but I've been reading a lot about it, and it all sounds so epic. I just want to make sure I'm ready in case anything ever happens. Serious angels and demons? Yes, seriously. Demons are serious stuff. Haven't you ever seen The Exorcist? Once Reagan used that Ouija board to invite Captain Howdy in, she was fucked. I've never seen it. You've never seen The Exorcist? Oh, gee, we have to watch it one night. Do you remember Shane Stevens? He was the nerdy kid with the turtle. He would follow us around the gym, had a crush on you. Kind of. Well, he's super hot and super single, and we're all hanging out tonight. Do you want to come? I don't know, Hannah. You're invited. You're coming. Oh, there you are. Hi. I thought you were upstairs. Hi, I'm Hannah. You must Hi. be Aunt Tanya. Yeah, Miss Winborn or Aunt Tanya. <laughs> Tanya's good. <laughs> cool. What are you girls up to? I was just going to make dinner. Do you want to save for dinner? Uh, no, uh, Hannah and I were going to go to the dock and hang out with a bunch of friends. Oh, you were going to go? Do you mind if we go? Just don't be late. You have school tomorrow. Yeah, we won't. We won't be. OK. Um, do you know what happened with that picture? Yeah. I found this cool picture of mom, and I thought I'd put it up there. Is that all right? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever you need to feel at home. I'm going to run upstairs and get changed really quick. OK. All right. It was nice to meet you, uh, Antonia or Tanya or Miss Winward.
<laughs> um, so everyone, this is our long lost friend Ashley. You may know her as a little girl from art class. Um, but as you can see, she's fully grown. You start some trouble. So, um, friends, Ashley, Ashley, friends. Hey, Ashley. Hey, I'm Bryce. I'm a big Bryce, big Bryce. <laughs> Hey. It's good to see you again. It's good, good to see you too. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, um, make yourself at home and let's party. <laughs> you want a drink? Oh, um, no, thanks. I'm good. Oh, yeah, I don't drink either. It's cool. All right. Let's go. Do you remember me? Yeah. He used to follow us around, Jim. Oh, man. How's your pet turtle? Myrtle? She wasn't long for this world, I guess. She, uh, she's in a better place. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Thanks. I know something fun. Do you guys have that new EVP app? What, you mean the stupid ghost hunter shit? You're such a dork. <laughs> yeah, cute dork. What's EVP? Oh my god, check it out. So EVP is electronic voice phenomenon. It's the app they use in all those ghost hunting shows. It totally works. Yeah, I got it on my phone right here. <laughs> of course you do. Dude, he's so whipped. Okay, everyone, <laughs> listen. The phone's gonna pick up anything from the spirit world. Voices, paranormal activity, anything. Listen. Are there any spirits out there that want to talk to us? I don't know, Anna. This is kind of weird. Come on, don't worry about it. I'm sure this stuff doesn't even work. You guys heard that? Oh, my God. I think it's safe for the girls to show us their boobs. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you heard, perv. No, but really, <laughs> listen. Real funny. Girl. Are you okay? What's wrong? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think I saw my mom. Oh my God. You're such a dick, Bryce. Ashley, wait Dude, up. Dude, what's your problem? She's screaming, we trying to have a good quiet evening. I'm leaving. You coming? You, I, I drove you here, so you can come.
Ashley, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Aunt Tanya. I'm taking a bath. Okay. How was your thing with your friends? It's okay. You look so much like your mom. That's her necklace, isn't it? Yeah. I've worn it since I was a little kid. It's like a little piece of her. You know, I bought that for her on her 16th birthday. <laughs> I hope you know how happy I am to have you here, Ashley. I do. I just wish Jordan was here. I know. It's gonna be okay. You know that, right? How do you know? Because I know. And I know that God never gives us more than we can handle. I just feel like he's given me a lot and I'm really trying to handle it all. I know you are. But you are so strong. You're going to get through this. And if there's anything I can do to make you feel more at home, please let me know. Thank you. Are you ready for your first day of school tomorrow? <laughs> ready or not, here it comes. <laughs> All right, you get some sleep, sweetie, OK? I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. You boys don't be late to school now or we'll all be in trouble, okay? Thanks, Jim. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah. 
Pastor John, what's the word? Well, hey, Sam. Same as always, God's word. Ashley? Yeah? Hi, I'm, I'm John. Uh, I'm the new pastor at Celebration. I work a lot with the youth ministry, and your Aunt Tanya told me a lot about you. OK. Well, how are you doing? I mean, are you happy to be back? Yeah, it's all right. Well, what's left of it? Yeah. I know the feeling. But I like this part of town. I feel like it's got a lot of personality. I kind of feel like it's the last link to the past. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of really great events planned at the church. It'd be really nice to see you there sometime. It'd be cool. Is that the 7D? Yeah, it, it sure is. That's right, Tanya told me that you're into photography. Yeah, I love it. I have the Mark V, but I heard the 7 takes better pictures. Yeah, the picture quality is great. It just, sometimes the exposure is off. Maybe you could take a look at it. Yeah. You know, I'm always looking for talented photographers to take pictures at church events. I'd love to. I can get back to you about that. OK, great. Pastor John, hey. Hey, I'll see you Sunday. All right. Hannah, haven't seen you at church in a while. I see you smiling. What, you think he's hot? No, but he's pretty cool. Yeah, OK, you know, for a pastor. Whatever. Hey, are you OK? Freaked out yesterday. Yeah, it was nothing. It was something. Did you see something? What were you saying about your mom? I don't know. My mind's just playing tricks on me. Are you sure? Because it just seemed Hannah, like it, it was, was nothing. Whatever you say, Ash, but it was definitely something. You girls planning the next EVP session? I want in. Come on, man, knock it off. You guys want to ride to school? Really? This is our workout for the day. And besides, the school's right up the street, dumbasses. All right, fine, but you're missing out on the pleasure of our company. See you later, ladies. It's Shane. I gave him your number. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Hannah! What are you doing? Hannah, what do you think? Oh, you take a look one second. Excuse me. Hello? Speaking. That's right there. She was beating Hey. Hey, have you seen Ashley? I've been texting her all day, and she's not responding. No, I was actually about to ask you. I was going to see if she needed a ride. Did you hear what happened? Yeah, is she OK? There she is. Hey, Ashley, what happened to you? Nothing. It wasn't nothing. It almost gave Mr. Ziegler a heart attack. God, I just want to go home. All right, just stay here. I'll go get my truck, and I can take you home, OK? Did you see your mom again? Um, I don't know. Holy shit, you did. Hannah, please stop, OK? No, Ashley, there's something going on with you. I'm coming over tonight. Yeah, I just, I need sleep, that's it. I'll see you tonight.
Hey. No, no, I, I'm just glad you're okay. Okay, we'll talk when I get home, okay? All right, I'll be home soon. Okay. Hello? This isn't funny. You can't shit scare me like that. Sorry, I'll knock next time. Oh my gosh. You were like knocking all over the house. What are you talking about? Very funny. Wasn't me, but okay. What's that smell? I don't know. Something must have died in the vent or something. Hey, is that a Bible? We're gonna need it. So, oh, what are we doing? This is my first time trying this. Do you remember that EVP thing that I showed you last night? Well, this is way better for communicating with one specific dead person. It's totally old school. I don't know, Hannah. Trust me. We have to figure out if this is actually your mom trying to reach out to you. What if it's What just... if what? What if it works? What's your mom's first name? It's super important. Sarah. Okay. If Sarah reveals herself to you, you have to acknowledge her and ask her to come back to you. That way we can figure out what's keeping her here. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Hello, Sarah. I'm Hannah, and I'm here with your daughter, Ashley. She'd like to speak with you. Will you communicate with us? Sarah, if you're here, give us a sign. Hannah, what's with this mirror? Shouldn't we close our eyes or something? Oh, no, I think the mirror acts as some sort of conduit to the spirit world. We have to look directly into it in order to see your mom. Sarah, please speak now. Sarah, please come forward and speak with your daughter. What the hell? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know. Sarah, show us that you're here. What the hell? 
I saw something. What did you see? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Call her, Ashley. She's here. Mom? Ask her again. Mom, are you here? Please, Mom, I'm begging you. I want you in my life. Will you please come back to me? I love you. Please. What did you do? I did what you told me to do. This doesn't feel right. What do you mean? doing? What is that smell? Um, I should probably get going. <laughs> Bye, Miss Winburn. Hannah, wait! Hannah, wait! We messed up. That shadow was dark. I I'm not sure it was your mom. I just... What do you mean? I don't know. I'll see ya. Well, she left in a hurry. What's going on? Nothing. It was nothing. So next you're going to tell me what happened at school today? I don't want to talk about it. OK, Ashley. I said I don't want to talk about it. Listen, Ashley, you might not want to talk to me about every single thing you're doing, but you will not disrespect me. Sorry, Aunt Tanya. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Look, this isn't easy for me either. I I'm sorry, okay? It today was really hard. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't think so. How about we have a movie night? We can watch something light, we can pig out on popcorn. It was your mom and my favorite thing to do. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me more about you and mom's movie night. Oh, they were our favorite things to do. <laughs> Mostly it was just an excuse to stay up late and talk about boys and school and boys. <laughs> we talked about everything. Did she ever talk about wanting to be a mom or having kids? A table before me, the presence of my enemies. No noise. I, I have failed. I have failed. I have failed. I need to tell you something. Okay. I'm pregnant. going on with me I'm hearing these voices in my head and it's it's making me do things really bad things <laughs> and I can't control it I don't know you mean that you can't control it I need your <laughs> don't help Tanya you need to see someone you need medical help <laughs> I'm scared Please, Tanya, just pray with me, okay? Okay, okay. Dear Heavenly Father, please watch over Sarah. Please cast out her afflictions and heal her mind and her thoughts and her actions. Please watch over my sister. What are you saying, Sarah? You don't believe me. I do. I don't know what to do. 
You don't believe me. Ashley. Oh, God. I'm... Are you okay? I must have had a nightmare. I'm sorry I fell asleep on you. No, it's okay. Um... You know, I'm gonna go to bed. I don't think you like this movie anyways. It doesn't have a happy ending. No, you know what? I'm... I'm gonna head to bed, too. It's way past my bedtime. You sleep good, Angel. I see you got your appetite back. How'd you sleep? Ashley, what happened to your shoulder? Uh, I just bumped into some branches in the woods. It doesn't look like you just bumped into branches. Let me see. Yeah, Antonia, I gotta go. I'm late. Okay, bye. I was thinking after what happened yesterday, his little adventure. What do you say? I say get in. All right. Wait, where are you going? Hop in. They say that if you close your eyes, you can feel that my hands are going to move a lot faster. You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, close your eyes. Trust me. You ready? Oh, come on. I'm going easy on you. Oh, really? Yeah. Close your eyes. All right. Last one. Actually, try this time. All right. Wow, jeez. <clears throat> so what's it like being back? I don't know, do you like my outfit? Yeah, yeah, I do. Then come closer. Okay. Do I scare you? 
Do you scare me? No, you don't scare me. Kiss me. Whoa, 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 come on. Slow down a bit. We don't have to go that fast. Well, come on, isn't this what you want? I guess. Well, hold on. Ashley, I just want to see something. Stop for a second. Yeah, go. <coughs> what the <coughs> You bit my tongue. Oh, come on, Shane. <gasps> what the heck is wrong with you? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry, what? No, she left this morning for school. Are you sure? Okay, thank you. This is Ashley, leave a message. Where are you? Call me, now. Something okay? No, I gotta go. Hey, Ash, where were you today? Call me. Ashley? 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 Oh. Oh. Some fighting spirits into our world can lead to the unintended and lethal consequence of demonic possession. Ashley, can you call me? I have to tell you something. Ashley? Ashley, we need to talk. Ashley, I'm talking to you. Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? Okay, put your head back. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. What are you doing here so late? Oh, I just wanted to come and make sure everything was good for tomorrow's small group. Um, what about you? What are you doing here so late? Pray. Come on, Reverend. I'll give you a ride home. I can just come in early tomorrow. We can talk in the car. Well, thank you for your generosity, but I don't need a therapist or a chauffeur at the moment. What do you need? Uh, forgiveness. Don't we all? <laughs> well, you came to the right place. What's on your heart? You ever doubt, John? Of course. Mm. Doubt is part of humanity. Mm. I doubt and I question, but in the end, my faith is strengthened. Yeah, yeah. By the... Spare me the seminary bullshit. I mean, really doubt. Not just in him, but in yourself. In your goodness. Your ability to fight for goodness in others. 
Hmm. I believe there's a name for that. Unwavering assurance. Oh, that's why we're always quick with the names, aren't we? To name is to destroy. Now, there was a time when I was pretty good at that, naming goodness, God, love. Wish I could name it now. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't follow. What do you want, Reverend? To destroy your wavering assurance? To find peace in your own goodness? <laughs> what? What do I want more than anything? More than finding peace in my own goodness? I want to destroy the darkness. I want to make it right for all those souls that I have failed. And that is what I will help you do. And in the presence of the Lord, there is no doubt. Yes. In the presence of the Lord, there is no doubt. Tanya. How is she? She's fine. It's just a nosebleed. Just a nosebleed? There was blood everywhere. Look, nosebleeds often look much worse than they are. You know, it's the stress of the environment could be the cause. Change affects each of us very differently. No, I'm, I'm really worried about her. You don't need to worry, Tanya. No, you weren't there. You didn't see her. I got to run. But, you know, I left her in the care of an on-call psychiatrist, Dr. Lyles. You can go see her. She's in good hands. I'll do her some good to talk to someone. Okay? Hi, Tanya. I'm Dr. Lyles. Thanks for coming in. There were just a few things I needed to go over with both of you. I'm going to prescribe an antidepressant I want you to take for a few weeks. It'll help make the transitional period a little easier. I'm also going to prescribe a sedative to help you sleep. Do you really think she needs all that? I do. Her mind and body need sleep in order to heal themselves. And the medicine will make her calm and enable that to happen. OK? But if you have any questions, please feel free to call me. I will. Thank you. You're OK, kiddo. But if you need anyone to talk to, call me anytime.
Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here on this beautiful Sunday morning. Please be seated. Now this is the will of him who sent me, the Father, that I should lose nothing of what he has given me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father who sent me, that whoever holds the Son and believes in him shall have everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. They said therefore to him, Lord, give us always this bread. But Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I have told you that I have seen me, and you do not believe me. I thirst the puzzle spring A fish on a show I gotta run to the hospital. I'm gonna come check on you as soon as possible, okay? Tanya, I beg you, leave her with me. I'm the only one that can help her. I am not leaving her side. The only reason I brought her here was because I didn't know what else to do. Her soul is in jeopardy. She needs to be on holy ground for her own survival. It's happening again. What happened with Sarah? Don't you dare say her name. What did you do to her? I knew something was wrong with her, and I left anyway. Well, that is not happening again. Tanya. Figure it out on my own. Come to my office now. What's going on with Ashley? I need to know exactly what we're up against. I've seen more evil than any one man should. And demonic possession is real. I've had too many people that I've loved and led consumed by evil, and I have fought tooth and nail, and I have lost. I have lost more than you can begin to imagine. It has shaken my faith and my belief in myself to the core. I don't know what to say. I want to help any way that I can. The greatest weapon we have against the demon lies within his name. Well, if the demon is commanded to give his name in the name of Jesus Christ, shouldn't it? Not always. I believe this one has been invited in, like Ashley's mother's case. He won't give up his name so easily. Ashley's mother? Yes. Well, then we have to figure out a way. We have to help any way that we can. Yes, grab as many books as you can on possession and name demonic entities. I'm going to give you a crash course in performing an exorcism. We have to go to Tanya's and fight for Ashley. We can't have evil win. Not again. Possession has three demonic stages. The first is infestation. A demon will be active in a place or space. Some of these signs may be objects moving, unrecognizable whispering, and putrid smells. The second is oppression. This is when the demon is focused on one specific person or individual. The demon will take the form of a loved one to earn trust. The final stage is possession. This is when the person invites a demon in, allowing the demon to take complete control. The only way to defeat the demon is to unlock the secret of his name and use it against him. How is she? She's not good. Where is she? She's upstairs resting. There was an accident involving Hannah. Is she okay? I'm 
go see Ashley. more than you can handle on your own. It's beyond your control. It's gotten worse, hasn't it? I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Christ is upon you. Lord, protect Ashley and keep her safe. Ashley's not here. Is this your handiwork? Uh, 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 Michael. Who are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? The Lord I'm John Douglas, the pastor of celebration. I'm John Douglas, the pastor of celebration. Cocksucker! The Lord cast away any evil that harms this child, Ashley or Tanya. Her soul is mine. <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God! Por qué me has sembrado? <laughs> you don't believe me. Help me, Sonia! Get her out of here! 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 The only chance we have of learning the demon's name is to get her back to holy ground after she's sedated. I need you to hold her while I inject her. If we do not, uh, we will vanquish wavering assurances. In the presence of the Lord, there is no doubt. Sante Iliikev Archangeli, defende nos in prelio. Contra nequitium et insidious diaboli. Esto presidio. Demon, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you and cast you away. Fuck. Don't throw that piss on me. 
believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered unto Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sitteth upon the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. <laughs> Demon, you have no place here. I got you. I submit to the will of God. I am God. You are a demon! I'm a coward and you hide in a child! Coward, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, tell me your name. You are mistaken. She has invited me. <laughs> Angels, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell me your name! your children and grandchildren for the sins of their parents. <laughs> I rebuke you, Satan, and all your dark angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell me your name! <laughs> Where are you? Ashley? Ashley? Daughter, please help me. Church.
Jordan. Jordan, you need to come home. Tanya, you shouldn't be here. I am not going anywhere. Then I have something to show you. May God bring you peace, Sarah.